Hello, Virgos. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This reading is for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid-month October. I missed your, um, well, I was late with the second week reading, so I'm going to do mid-month October this time around. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I see Capricorn energy here. A Pisces. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to the channel. You are very much welcome to stay. If this is your, if you've been here before and you are um, coming back to visit, you are always welcome back as well. If you have not subscribed to the channel and you want to support the channel, you like my energy or these readings resonates with your story or someone in your surroundings um, subscribe hit the notification bell share with your friends like as well okay I am going to begin your reading spirit what is the current energy for my Virgos what is the current energy for the sign of Virgo the knight of cups could want to offer up some love to somebody. Why is the Knight of Cups here for the sign of Virgo? Why is the, okay. The Eight of Cups. Hmm. It's the past energy. What is the past energy for the sign of Virgo? The Emperor, the Four of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, which is your energy. What do you fear? What do you fear, Virgo? Okay. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Some of you are dealing with a Sag. I have Aries here, Sagittarius here. How are others seeing you at this time? The King of Wands. What are you hoping for? What is this? Okay. The Hermit. Virgo energy. That's you. And what is your outcome? What is the outcome for the sign of Virgo? That's too many parts. What is the outcome for the... Okay. Alright. I'll take them. So... We have the star card in the reverse, Aquarius energy. The ten of pentacles in the reverse. And the ace of swords. All right, Virgo, what is going on with you? We have the knight of cups with the eight of cups. The knight of cups and the eight of cups. I feel like you're offering someone a cup. Of love, you're trying to propose something to someone after they turn your back on, after you turn your back on them, or they turn your back, their back on you. Either you turn your back on them, or they turn their back on you. But I feel like you're offering a cup of love, or someone is offering you a cup or proposing something to you. In the past, the Emperor card, Aries energy with the Four of Swords. I feel like you 
Okay, so you could be like a father or a mother of a home, um, nurturing a home, nurturing children, the responsible person, you pay the bills. You're ambitious, you're the authority figure in a home. But I feel like in the past with the Four of Swords, you took a break from something or you took a step back and thought about something, took some rest or you took a step back from something or someone that you're still thinking about. You needed to recover from this situation. Whomever it is that walked away or turned their back on a situation or a person you, someone decided to take a step back to recover. After feeling some type of strain. Yeah, because it caused some type of disappointment with the Page of Swords. A delay or a disappointment. So you could be feeling disappointed right now. This is your overall thoughts. Could be watching someone, maybe driving past their home, checking out their social media or something because someone turned their back. And I feel like in the immediate future with the Queen of Pentacles, you could have turned very much turned your back on this person because you know your worth with the Queen of Pentacles. That's your energy. You know your worth. So you turned your back. And now this person is coming back in to offer you something. But you're trying to decide if you want to take their offer. That's why they four swords is there. You hoping that there's balance and reciprocity and co compromise and patience. You're trying to be patient with this person. You're trying to be patient with this person. And I feel like this person is looking at you as and hoping that you take action. They want you to accept this cup. Accept whatever it is that they're offering you now. After they walked away and turned their back, probably tried to front on you. They want you to accept what they're giving you now. But look... You're withdrawing. This is your energy, Virgo. You're withdrawing from this person now because you've gained some wisdom. You got some enlightenment. You don't want things to get better. I think you're going to leave things as they are. And this person that walked away or turned their back on you, they didn't know that you were going to cut them off permanently. <coughs> Look, you got the Ten of Pentacles in a reverse. There is no more stability with this person. That's it. No more stability. But with the Ace of Swords, you will speak your truth. You're going to tell them the truth. There will be um, a point in time where you're, you've overcome this. You're going to overcome this. And you're going to some truth is going to be spoken to this person. And look, illumination. Yep. You're going to speak the truth to this person. Because this person turned their back on you. Huh? Turned their back on you. And now they want to come back around but they need courage and strength Leo energy this could be a Leo they need courage and strength if it's not a Leo this person just needs courage and strength to come back towards you why's the strength card there yeah because they cause the heartbreak they cause you to feel some kind of way why is this three of swords here and they know it they know it. Look, it left them up thinking about this all night. They know they are wrong. 
sponsors, they know that they are wrong. Could have been promiscuous with the queen of wands, someone, fire energy. This person could be promiscuous. They could be seeing someone else. They could. This person could be spying on you with the page of swords. They could be act or behaving immaturely. They could have um, been behaving immaturely. Feeling disappointed. Feeling disappointed. Now they're waiting on you. Now they are waiting on you because they want to celebrate now. Or they want to celebrate now. But now you you turn that's it. You turn your back on them. Because they didn't know they didn't appreciate the cup that you offered them, whatever it is that was in that cup, they didn't take it when you offered it to them. So you turned your back, and now they want to be bothered with you, and now you don't want to be want to be bothered with them. Why is this? Uh, I mean, spirit, can I have a love oracle card for the sign of Virgo? I don't know why I just said that. That was straight to the point. Seduction. All right, so someone could be flirting with you. You could be tempted to do something. Or they are tempted. Someone is tempted to do something. Why is the seduction card here for the sign of Virgo? Someone is tempted to do something. not enough so someone is flirting or tempted to do something because there is lack thereof there could someone could have ego issues someone is frustrated in a relationship someone is um focused on themselves yeah all right virgo so from the looks of things, for the mid-month October reading, you are not going to go back to this person right now. You turned your back for right now, and they're on their own. They want to come back around and act like nothing happened, but you didn't forget how they walked away and turned their back on you. So I'm going to leave the reading it as that. Um... Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, and subscribe. Um, be safe out there. I'm sending light, love, peace, and healing energy to you. Thank you for watching. Have um, a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye.